You shouldn't be here. What do you want? You know, we weren't there when everything fell down at the Trocadero. But you were. You see, we weren't just gonna sit around and do nothing about it. So we came all the way out here, to the middle of nowhere, to get some answers. To get some answers from you, Beck. I have no more answers than anyone else. Only... theories. Ah, we don't have time for theories! No, but we didn't go through all of this to go home empty-handed. <laughs> theories. I'm sorry. You're too late. You hear this, Jackman? The man who claims he's been all the way to the future. Too late. He's telling us that we're too late. Look, if I thought there was something I could do to stay the inevitable, I would have intervened in my past self's match with Eddie Kingston in Chicago. I would have prevented Chikara from being dismantled by Condor security in Philadelphia. But there was nothing to be done then, and there's nothing to be done now. I'm telling you, it's too late. No, but you're wrong, Archie. See, the future is never set in stone. You know, as we speak, there is an army out there and they are getting stronger by the day. And they will not stop until Chikara is erased. And if we sit here and we allow them to succeed at destroying everything that we once hold dear, then, Archie, then it's too late. You see, you want to sit around here in your little dump and do nothing about it? That's on you, Peck. That's on you. But us, we say it's never too late for a fight. I don't know why we thought you'd be any help anyway. You don't understand what I'm saying. Time moves differently in parts unknown. While it may seem that you've only been here for a few hours, days may have passed in the outside world. The tide has turned. All is lost. Every last remnant of Chikara is washed away. It's too late. So what you're saying is, there's nothing we can do about it. I suppose there is. One possibility. 